Hey everybody, Jeremy here with another video from the Practical IT channel. Today we're talking about network discovery tools and we're going to concentrate on one in particular called Fing. Fing is available as an Android app, also for iPad OS and Macs running Apple Silicon ARM based architecture. So what you see on your screen here is the basic app. I've got it in full screen mode. It will show up at the top. Uh, this is saying unknown access point for the wireless. We can scan for devices, which we'll do in a moment. It tells you the internet provider, and this is not actually my city. Uh, a lot of these are not terribly accurate on reporting gives you some options to improve your security and troubleshoot your network. You can also get an account. Uh, I do not have an account logged in currently. Uh, and they have a premium price for this. Uh, currently it's on sale. Uh, it may or may not be when you see this video. Let's go back to the home tab. So we are going to go ahead and scan for devices. And it will go ahead and grab the devices. It'll show their IP addresses, which that information doesn't really get you much other than knowing what subnet my home network is on. But you can, for instance, we'll pick on the brother printer. We can drill down into this and it gives you status, devices online since now, gives you the model number, brand, and series or family, customer service information for brother, manage this device, uh, we can remove it, can see events, do trace route, find open ports, which can be uh, useful. So this will tell you which ports are open on the printer. These are pretty typical of a network printer. HTTP, uh, print spooler or LPD, internet printing protocol, and JetDirect, uh, emulated JetDirect card. Why would you want to use a piece of software like this? Well, there are devices out there, especially as people get into more Internet of Things devices. There are devices out there that will come with their own discovery software to scan your network. And you don't know what kind of backdoors or other nefarious things that might be lurking in that software. Is Fing the best thing out there to use for this? Well, in my opinion, no, it's not open source and it does have a paid version. So a lot of people would automatically find that to be suspect. On the other hand, Fing does serve a purpose in that you can easily get a hold of it. The free version does have enough functions to get you started. And in many cases, it will give you more information than the one-off discovery software that might ship with your NAS of choice or some other Internet of Things device. Do I recommend this? Well, yes and no. On the yes side, it's easy to use. And if you're doing just a quick scan and you're going to use it to help out a friend or family member, maybe a parent or a grandparent, aunt or uncle that might need help with their technology, great. This is also something you could put on their phones or iPads or other tablet type device something great to have around. Now, if you are more the type that is more of a power user, 
more of an open source advocate, then I would recommend a tool like Nmap, which we will cover in another video. I will say that Fing is much easier to use, albeit it has fewer features. Nmap has a little bit of a learning curve, even with the graphical front end on it. It's not available for phones or tablets, unless there is some new version that I'm not aware of, but it is very much a full featured product. It gives you a lot of not only discovery capabilities, but many other capabilities. Bottom line here is that as we progress forward, as we continue to have more devices on our home networks, on our lab networks, in small business networks, it is important to have these types of discovery tools available and be able to quickly discover when new devices are on the network. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another video. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you got something out of this, please take a moment to like and subscribe and consider using the affiliate links that you'll find down in the description. I hope everybody has stayed safe and happy over this holiday season. And I look forward to bringing you more great content leading up to the end of this year and in 2022. And on that note, once again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Happy computing and have a great day.